Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge, and today I'm super excited to be sharing with you a Disney lunch marathon. Now we've actually been taking our kids to Disney since they were tiny babies, and we love it. Even when we're on vacation, we still like to have fun lunches. But as you might already know, Disney food can be expensive. So we like to save money by bringing some of our own food, buying a few things at the park, and sharing it all together. This works out really well because everyone ends up getting to try something new. It's definitely less expensive this way and no food ends up getting wasted. So come along with me today as I share with you our top lunches from not just Disneyland, but Disney World too. Oh yeah, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button if you're new. Now let's get started. So today's lunch is coming at you from Disneyland day one. The kids are having some Uncrustables and they each picked a bag of chips. And also sharing this one with the apples, the grapes, and cheese, and then a yogurt. Here it comes! Here it comes! Good job! Is that yummy? Yummy! Oh! oh. <laughs> Hi! How's your lunch, guys? Now Disney totally lets you bring the food into the park. It's not a problem at all. In fact, all of these things they actually sell in the park. We're just saving some money by bringing it ourselves. But we are also ordering something from the restaurant as well. That way I don't feel bad about taking up the table, if you know what I mean. Although this is not a sit down, take your order sort of restaurant. It's very casual, quick service. So anybody can come and sit here. <gasps> you need some more? Okay, ready? Good job. <laughs> you want some more? What's the sign for more? <gasps> what? Look at that thing. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the flowers on there. Look, there's like gold dust on there. This is the milk and honey funnel cake from the Hungry Bear restaurant. Look how fancy. Now, of course, we're all going to share this, and it's not gluten or sugar free at all. Okay, guys, here's what's left of lunch. They ate it all. Plus, we also shared a funnel cake, which was delicious. Are you guys ready for lunch? Yeah. yeah. What are you having today? I'm having Crestables, Lay's, which is cheddar and sour cream, and my activity on yogurt. And some. Uh, Fruit? Yes. And I'm having this and this. And we have some mac and cheese with bacon inside of a bread shaped a bread cone. I can't get it right. Are you hungry? Yeah. Okay. Okay, here's how they did. Everybody finished their food except for Lily. She has a bit of her sandwich left and maybe two bites of yogurt. And we do have a couple of cubes of cheese, but we're gonna save those for Griffin. He's over there, and he's sleeping. So maybe he'll have that cheese later. How was lunch today, girls? Good. What was your favorite part? The chips and the new sandwich that I've never tried before. Yeah. What part did you like? The yogurt and the chips. I think you need a napkin. No more. <laughs> Say see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Are you hungry? We can make this thing with it. It's lunchtime. Griffin is eating a croissant, and John's gonna have a salad. These guys are gonna have Uncrustables and fruit and yogurt. And then, what did you get for later, Kenzie? Uh, cotton candy. That's cotton after candy, lunch. that's and right. And breadsticks. And breadsticks and cheese, that's right. We're just sitting here next to the Rivers of America. And, yeah. Okay, dig in, guys. And we're eating the steak. Okay guys, it's time to clean up the lunch. Now as you can see, let's see, that's Griffin's. He didn't eat his, that's okay. <laughs> the rest of the kids ate theirs except for Lily. She left a little bit of her sandwich and the kids weren't super crazy about these. They were okay, but I probably wouldn't buy them again. They ate all of their fruit. John ate his salad and they also shared some Doritos. Guys, and happy Tuesday. 
Surprise, we are at Disneyland today. And since it's a little bit later in the day, we're actually gonna be having brunch. We're having a special character meal. This is the Plaza Inn restaurant at Disneyland. And while we have brunch, the characters actually come around and meet all the kids. It's really fun. And this brunch is buffet style, so everyone gets to pick exactly what they want. Like Mickey Waffles. Griffin was totally loving the chocolate muffins. This was our first time ever having a character breakfast at Disneyland because they're kind of pricey. But if you consider having brunch, so it's breakfast and lunch at the same time, it's a little bit more affordable because definitely after our brunch, we didn't need to have any more meals until way later in the day because we were all pretty full. Now, while we were there, they were even able to make a special gluten-free breakfast just for my husband, so that was excellent. My favorite were the Mickey waffles with the banana fosters sauce. It was so good. Now, while we were there, several of the characters came by to visit us, and each time Griffin wasn't quite sure <laughs> whether he should talk to them or not. He was pretty shy, but he didn't cry and he wasn't totally scared, so it wasn't too bad. Oh, and a chocolate muffin top. I agree. <laughs> 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 and then he doesn't like it. Oh, he's like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, like that. Yeah. 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 Right <gasps> oh, yeah. Hi, 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 Hi. <laughs> Hi guys and happy Wednesday! Today we are at Disney's California Adventure, which is the theme park across from Disneyland. We're here to check out the new Incredicoaster and all the new awesome things. But today I actually brought our lunch from home. This is definitely going to save us some money, but it's still going to be really cute. So I have some goldfish crackers, the Mickey ones of course. I'm giving the kids a couple of these little Minnie Mouse cookies. These are really tasty. They're actually from Disneyland. I'm also giving them an Uncrustable, and I put the little Mickey Mouse ring in there just to make it fun. And then I also have some of these apple crisps. These are freeze dried and they are so good. Definitely one of Lily's favorites. And then I have some yogurt, but unfortunately I forgot my special yogurt at home. I had these Mickey Mouse ones and I just forgot to bring them. These ones would have been really cute with today's lunch. And I also forgot the vegetable, I left it at the hotel. So it was actually really easy to bring this lunch from home and it definitely saved us some money. The kids really liked it. Hey guys, and welcome to Monday. And as you can probably tell, we are at a very crowded theme park today. Animal Kingdom to be exact. This place is amazing. We especially love the Pandora section. It literally looks like it's out of this world. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever seen the Avatar movie. So for today's lunch, we're actually gonna be eating at a restaurant called the Satuli Canteen, and they have some really interesting food. So we went ahead and ordered the kids meal, which comes with this guy. This is called a cheeseburger steamed pod. It also comes with some vegetable chips. So in there, there's some taro chips, some sweet potato, purple potato, parsnips, and some cassava chips. Now this also comes with a side of fruit, and then it also comes with a drink. For the drink, the kids got to choose between juice or milk, and the kids chose milk. And then I also got one treat for all of us to share. This looks really interesting. It's actually a blueberry cream cheese mousse with passion fruit and whipped cream on top. It almost looks too pretty to eat, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. And when it came to the blueberry dessert, Lily thought it was really good, but nobody else liked it at all. Now before we left Pandora, I wanted to get a special drink for us all to share. It was so hot that day. This drink is called the Night Blossom and it's a non-alcoholic drink. I think it looks kind of weird, but pretty at the same time. It was a mixture of limeade, apple and pear flavors. And then I really like the orange boba balls on top, but the kids thought they were a little weird. After lunch, we had our fast passes for a ride called Expedition Everest. This is super fast and I love it. 
Jackson loves it, Lily loves it, but Mackenzie, not so much. Then after that, we had our safari ride. And this is one that the whole family got to do together. And it was definitely the highlight of our day. We got to see so many interesting animals. And these are real live animals. They're not animatronics at all. This was such a fun ride, although it is very bumpy. And you guys, right when we got off of this ride, we ran into the Ohana Adventure. Let me know in the comments down below if you watch their channel. And you guys also got to meet an awesome subscriber. Hi guys, and happy Tuesday. Today we are in Epcot for the first time and we all love it. But we decided to have lunch in Norway where we also got to meet an awesome subscriber and it was her birthday that day, so it was super special. So for this lunch, it's a mixture of things I found in the Norway section and things I also brought from home. So the star of this lunch was definitely the Norwegian Club Sandwich. And this is a huge sandwich, so really just a couple of sandwiches can feed the whole family. This is a warm sandwich and it has ham and turkey, bacon, Jarlsberg and Munster cheese, and it also had some lingonberry jam on it. For our vegetables today, I actually brought these from home. It's a mixture of carrots and sugar snap peas. I remember the ranch so the kids could dip in it. I also brought the fruit from home today as well. I found these little bags at Walmart and they have a mixture of red apples and red grapes. Pre-cut, pre-washed, and ready to go. I also picked up some school bread for us all to share. This is something I'd heard a lot about and always wanted to try. It's basically a cardamom flavored bread with custard and coconut on top. And then since I wasn't sure the kids would like the school bread, I also got these mini cupcakes. It comes with four and we have four kids, so it's perfect. So as you can tell, there's an Olaf cupcake, a troll cupcake, and of course, an Anna and Elsa cupcake too. Just a little sweet treat at the end of lunch. And then to make this lunch extra fun, I brought our frozen drink bottles to use. And we like to reuse these. So instead of having juice in there today, I just put water. Okay guys, now I totally forgot to film the kids eating this lunch today. That tends to happen to me when we're at theme parks. There's just so much going on. But I have to say everyone loved the Norwegian sandwich, except for the tomatoes, they picked that out. They didn't really love the vegetables, but that's kind of what I was expecting. Of course, they love the mini cupcakes, however. Then right after lunch, we had our fast pass for the Frozen ride, which was awesome. We loved it, but I totally forgot to film it. Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Today is our rest day, and we didn't plan to go to any parks today, but we did plan to go to Downtown Disney, and that's where we had kind of a late lunch. We stopped at this kind of new restaurant called Chicken Guy, and this is actually a restaurant owned by Guy Fieri from The Food Network. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever seen any of Guy Fieri's shows on The Food Network. I am a huge fan of his. This is kind of like Chick-fil-A. There's lots of different chicken items and lots of different sauces. So I went ahead and ordered several kids' meals, and I also ordered other things on the side, and we all just shared it. So the kids meals came with a chicken strip, french fries, a sauce of their choice, and most of the kids either chose barbecue or ranch. Now some of this lunch I actually brought with us, including the sugar snap peas because this kids meal did not come with a vegetable, and then I also brought these little cupcakes as well. But the lunch did come with a side of fruit, which is this little mixed fruit cup here. And then I also ordered some sides, which include fried pickles and mac and cheese. So there's lots of options here for the kids to choose from. Jackson and Mackenzie liked pretty much everything except for the fried pickles. Lily had a little bit of a hard time with this lunch. She pretty much only liked the mixed fruit cup. Now since this was a late lunch today, by the time we were done, all the Christmas lights were coming on. It was starting to get really busy and loud. So we walked around a little bit, went to the main Disney store, which is awesome by the way, and then we headed home so we could be ready for the next day. 
Konnichiwa, friends! Today we are back at Epcot because we actually have a special tour that we're going on. This is called the Behind the Seeds Tour and it happens at the Living with the Land attraction. So we actually got to go behind the scenes and see how they grow plants. It was so fun. We all loved it. But afterwards, we went to have lunch in the Japan Pavilion at Epcot and I was super excited because I love everything Japanese. So Mackenzie and I went into every store in the Japan Pavilion and I picked out some of my favorites for today's lunch. For the kids, I actually chose one kid's meal and one adult meal for them all to share because it's quite a bit of food. The kid's meal came with teriyaki chicken, rice, and broccoli. I also ordered Lily's favorites, some edamame. The kid's meal also came with a juice box and strangely enough, a chocolate chip cookie. I'm not quite sure that's very Japanese, but that's okay. I also picked up a couple other things I wanted the kids to try, including one little Japanese soda. And I love this one because Doraemon is on the front. He's such a cute little character. I also ordered some chicken katsu curry. That's rice, curry, chicken with a side of salad. And since I wasn't sure if they would like that, I also picked up some dorayaki. These are so cute. It's basically a little pancake sandwich filled with a sweet red bean paste. And then last but not least, I also included some mochi into today's lunch. I love mochi and there was a lot of different flavors available. I went ahead and went with these strawberry, or as the Japanese would call it, Ichigo Mochi. I think mochi is oishi. That means delicious. So here you can see how I've divided this up. Each lunchbox has a little bit of the chicken katsu curry, a few edamame, some salad. The kids each have their own mochi, and they each have their own little pancake, which is so cute by the way. Let me know if you've ever tried these. I think they're really good. And then of course we have the soda, and I just got one because it's definitely shareable. These little glass bottles are so fun, but they're kind of hard to open sometimes. So after lunch, we spent a lot of time looking around the Japan Pavilion, including the awesome stores. They have the cutest souvenirs in these stores. I just loved everything. We even found some lunch making supplies. And Mackenzie and I especially loved the kimono and the yukata section. These were kind of expensive. Luckily, I have my own at home, but they are so pretty. And this area smells so good. It totally reminds me of an authentic Japanese store. This area also has lots of snacks, including every flavor mochi you could ever want. Strawberry, apple, banana, lots of different flavors. After shopping, we stopped to listen to a taiko drum performance, which was amazing. These ladies are so talented. I have to say taiko drumming can really be tiring. It takes a lot of strength and endurance to play taiko drums. Now, before we left this area, there was one more treat that I wanted to share. So I stopped and ordered a rainbow kakigori, which is basically a shaved ice and it's extra good if you order the sweet milk topping. Now I have to say this was pretty good. It's not quite as authentic as I was hoping for it to be. Well, howdy partners and welcome to Friday. Today we're having lunch in the Toy Story section of Hollywood Studios, which is super crowded by the way. We literally waited 225 minutes to go on Slinky Dog. It was crazy and it was super hot. Not a lot of shade in that area. We did, however, find an awesome place to have lunch, which is called Woody's Lunchbox. So for today's lunch, I ordered several kids' meals and one adult meal, and the kids are all gonna share. The main course is a good old grilled cheese. On the side, we have some tater tots, or as they like to call it here, potato barrels. The kids' meal also came with a fruit, which is a little mandarin orange. The kids' meal did not come with a vegetable, but I brought my own carrots. And then in this back corner, I bought a special treat for the kids to share. This is kind of like a fancy Pop-Tart. This one has chocolate hazelnut on the inside and candied bacon on top. We of course have some water to go with our lunch. I'm just reusing our Toy Story drink bottles we brought from home. The kids meal did come with a choice of juice or milk and the kids chose milk. And then I also got a side of tachos. My husband and I actually end up, ended up eating most of this. 
This is tater tots, chili, Fritos, cheese, and sour cream. So that is everything in today's lunch. So for today's lunch, we ended up really liking the tachos. Those were super tasty and perfect for sharing. The kids all loved the grilled cheese. They ate every single bite. They didn't really like the tater tots because they were cold, but they did enjoy the Pop-Tart treat. After lunch, we got everyone cleaned up and we did a little bit more exploring in Toy Story Land. We love Toy Story so much and we can't wait to see Toy Story 4. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Toy Story movie is. Okay, Fredgies, thanks for joining us for the super fun week of Disney World lunches. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Did you find a Luna lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know in the comments down below where you found her and use the hashtag LunaLunchbox. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.